if you're a shotgunner, today I want to talk about something really important for your builds. Now, this might not be the most groundbreaking, it might be common knowledge, but nonetheless, I really wanted to talk about it. And that is a few mods that are essentially, I feel like when put together, giving you what might as well be quick draw on shotguns again. The first and most significant mod that we're going to talk about is the quick charge mod. Previously, I thought this was working for a long time and was doing the same as a shotgun dexterity mod, but what really happened was I was just seeing some inconsistencies in frames and frame counting, and that led me to believe that it was shaving off a few frames, therefore it's a dexterity mod, but now it's actually working and it's really significant. So quick charge gives you anywhere between, I've heard people report 20 to 25 handling or the equivalent of somewhere around there, which is quite a significant amount when you realize your shotgun's already going to have a part of the handling, you have 25 on that, 25 is essentially you allocating five mod slots on a piece of gear to get rid of a quarter of the handling stat bar which is again very significant as i think handling is probably the most important thing on shotguns being able to switch between your primary and your shotgun and damage combo effectively i'd say is the most important thing with the shotgun especially now because of changes a long time ago that range doesn't affect your accuracy cone on your shotguns and your one hit kill range is more so dependent on your archetype than anything not really your range handling is probably the next most influential thing that you have control over aside from quick charges massive benefit you want to pay attention to the quick access sling mod Quick Access Sling Mod is going to give us a 10% faster animation for swapping, and this is independent of the handling stat. So this is not adding to the handling stat like Quick Charges, this is just independently, no matter what, a 10% faster animation. There's other things that we're going to incorporate like Shotgun Dexterity Mods, and we also are going to explore some perks. To establish a basis of comparison here and look through history, Quick Draw was 100 handling, so I took my Sudden Death equipped with Arc and Quick Charge which should total 100 handling, and found that it was a 52 frame swap. This is swapping from my AS Luna, which had 50 handling on the dot, so it's a perfect representation of what average handling on a hand cannon should look like. And you know, it's a god roll, so it should be uh, the pretty ideal scenario. Weird flex. So now that we have a reference point for quick draw, we can take a look at Felwinters to start, a shotgun that I think most people should have. At 33 handling, not counting any sort of surplus stacks, it's base 33 handling, it has a swap speed from AS Luna of 88 frames. But now we can add quick charge to Felwinters, and that should give us a handling level of somewhere around, give or take, 58 handling, and that gives us a swap speed of 76 frames. And we can take it a little further by adding other things on top of our 58 handling Felwinters with quick charge. We can add two times shotgun dexterity and quick access sling. So both of those things are animation speed modifiers. Quick access sling, like I mentioned, gives us a 10% faster animation speed or swap speed. And dexterity also boosts the animation speed as well. All those put together gives us a swap speed of 58 frames, which is dangerously close to what we've established that quick draw was, 52 frames. So you can actually use something like Felwinters and actually make it feel quite similar to how it did with quick draw, just a tiny bit slower. And that also means that you can use slide shot, because I didn't include surplus in this at all. Of course, if you were to use surplus though, and you had even one charge, it would probably be on par or maybe just a tad bit faster than what we've established as 100 handling or quick draw with the 52 frame swap. So it's good to see that with enough investment, although it might be seemingly a steep investment, but I think this should be mandatory if you're shotgunning at this point. With the right investment, you can make Felwinters essentially the same as it once was in the past. I think the crazier part though about all these swap speed buffs that we have access to now is that they can actually go beyond quick draw and beyond what was the standard at one point they can be faster than that let's start by taking a look at a matador that i have here i have one with threat detector and 74 handling when you factor in quick charge it's 49 handling without when we factor in two dexterities and quick access sling and then the threat detector times one only so that's very practical an initial stack of threat detector obviously only requires one enemy within 15 meters of you and boosts your animation speed by 25 percent pretty significant swapping from our as luna with this it gives us a 42 frame swap that's 10 frames faster 
than quick draw or 100 handling alone would be. I have a 67 handling Matador, not including the 25 that comes from quick charge. So that gives it about 92 handling in its neutral state. I say neutral state because it has pulse monitor on it. And when pulse monitor is active, it boosts the handling by 50. So that'll take it to 100 handling and gives it a 5% faster swap animation. So that's beyond the handling stat as well. So because that's another animation speed buff, we can combine that with the two dexterities. We can combine that with quick access sling. And that gives us a swap speed of 40 frames, the fastest yet. I actually thought we could build faster than this swap speed because I have a sudden death with 100 handling when you factor in quick charge. We can apply all the same dexterity mods, quick access sling, and threat detector times one, which means hypothetically, this should be faster than our 74 handling Matador, but it wasn't. It was the same 40 frames as our best case scenario with pulse monitor on our other Matador. So. I think that there's a potential that shotgun animation swap speed is capped at a certain point. I don't know what that point is, but it, it's good to keep in mind here. The takeaways from this is that there's more ways than ever to maximize on your swap speed and gets us to a place that was faster than the standard at one point. Of course, that's not taking into consideration the quick swap glitch, just purely available game mechanics. I think it's great that Bungie's given us the ability to build into that swap speed. It's not dominated by a single perk anymore. It's gonna require a lot more moving parts and commitment, but I think that's okay. And I think that's overall necessary with shotguns because shotguns are more inconsistent than ever and don't have the one hit kill range they once did. They're gonna require you to combo damage in some way, whether it be from your other weapons like your primary or a melee, both of which require either swap speed or melee distance. And I would honestly spec into both if you're committing to shotgunning. To go through a quick recap of all the mods you want to be incorporating if you're committing to shotgunning, it's going to be number one, quick charge to get free handling, of course. Number two, dexterity mods. So a mix of either hand cannon or whatever primary you're using, plus a shotgun dexterity mod or two shotgun dexterity mods. Either one, they actually produce a similar result. Quick access sling is most certainly the mod I recommend using on shotguns because we learned from Chris Proctor that the only thing that Icarus mods affect on shotgun is the inner pellet spread, not the outer pellet spread. And if you have opening shot or a shotgun targeting mod, that'll handle your accuracy as well. And the swap speed is probably more important at this point. So quick access sling is very good for that faster swap speed. And for perks, you want to be looking out for threat detector and pulse monitor. Again, these are animation speed buffs. They're nothing to do with handling, so they can exceed what 100 handling can do. You want to combine as many of these as possible when applicable to make sure you're getting the best potential out of your shotgun for your swap speed. And as I said earlier, in terms of your build or your loadout, you might want to be looking for melee follow-ups to combine with this as well to ensure the best consistency out of your shotgunning. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.